How do I talk about this without sounding like a jerk? Because I feel like I will. Anything that I say about Israel, it gets taken the wrong way. So I got some green beans and some sweet potato fries and I'm really trying to decide if this is a grasshopper or not. I think it's part of a green bean. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, it's vegan. Green beans? Yeah. No. Do you want sweet potato fries? Sweet potato fries. Yeah? You good with that? Not ready. Not ready. How do I talk about this without sounding like a jerk? Because I feel like I will. Anything that I say about Israel, it gets taken the wrong way. I don't want to live here anymore. And it's not because of just what happened last night, but that doesn't make me want to stay. Really. Last night, we were awoken suddenly by a air raid siren. Now, that's not the first time. And it's not the first time that we've ever actually heard a bomb or felt a bomb, rocket, land. But last night was pretty terrifying because we don't have a bomb shelter. So I can give you a very accurate representation of what happened last night. That's a bomb. Okay, what do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? Where do we go? Oh, we don't have no bomb shelter. Andrea, you just have to sit here and wait. You just have to sit here and wait. Wait for something else to happen. Here, here, I'm gonna go look on the news, see what's happening, code red. Well, my kids are in there, so what do I do with them? They're asleep, they're not getting up. Um, bomb shelter is clear down the street because we don't have one in our house, because our house is old. Um, yeah, so basically, here I am standing in the doorway trying not to get bombed trying not to get bombed worrying about how many bombs there are wondering why did that bomb land if we have two iron domes in Beersheba why did it land getting really really irritated and scared and just mad just mad because this is not my war this is not my land what are what are we fighting over here yeah we have bananas we have unripened bananas that are very tasty. Not yet though. And I'm cooking this. So we're blessed to be here this morning. The family, the family's house that it hit are blessed to be here this morning. They got hurt running to their bomb shelter. They live in a newer house, so they have a bomb shelter in their house, I'm sure. They had a two-story home. It hit their courtyard, which in fact hit their house. It is not done yet, not ripe. I know, we have a banana addict and the bananas are not ripe. So let's move outside, shall we? You wanna play outside? Do the dramatics. You wanna play outside? And you're wondering, why are y'all playing outside? Bomb just hit over here. I mean, we heard it, we felt it, shook. <laughs> Honestly, shook. Everything. Me, my house, shook. Kids don't even know. Let me, let me tell you Raphael. Raphael, do you know what happened last night? No. Do you know that a rocket hit last night in Beersheba where we live? I didn't hear it. I didn't feel like it. It didn't shake. You're just kidding. <laughs> really not. So, in Israel, every child should know what a rocket is and what it can do and what you're supposed to do when you hear the air raid siren and why. Why? If you're living in Israel, you teach your kids why, because that's the whole point of living in Israel. I don't see any other reason to live here besides being Jewish. That's, that's the only reason I would ever think that anybody would want to live here. Now my husband is in the IDF, so he protects this country along with every other citizen that does mandatory service and decides to become a NCO. He's been in the service for probably 
10 years now, and we have been through at least six rockets and heard at least five rockets land in a lot and in Beersheba. So, hey guys, uh, there was an air raid siren this morning, and if you follow Israel, you'll know that um, my neighborhood got attacked about a week and a half ago. Um, so I have been a nervous wreck all day long. is staying the weekend at base. I'm not scared, I'm just, I don't know what that is. It's an air raid siren for bombing. And when it's, bombs coming? it's, yeah, it's really bad. It hasn't gone off for a while. Anyway, I went through my clothes. How can I think about that when there's a bomb? Anyway, I went through my clothes and that's my new clothes now. All right, no bomb. Go outside. Oh no, another one. Ooh, that was a bomb, holy crap. Oh my God. Dude, that was two. The, the only other reason that I would see to live in Israel is because you're trying to escape some other place that is worse than this. So usually, because I'm a daily vlogger, right, I would be editing, I would probably have been done editing about 30 minutes ago, however, um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't focus on editing. So I just wanted to make like a, a shorter video, less editing, just to tell you guys that we are okay. I sent a message on Facebook and said that, you know, we're okay basically because I was on Facebook, but yeah, I was shook last night. My nerves are so bad. And then we woke up this morning, we made coffee, the neighbors are constructing their bomb shelter outside. Um, my husband went to work today he you know he's he works to protect this land and the more that I think about it the angrier I get about it because I it's land you know and it's it's a it's just so again anything that I say about this is going to be taken the wrong way because anything that said against Israel or for Israel, like you don't know the amount of stupid comments that I get every single day. People that think that I have something to do with the Israeli government and their decisions or the, the Hamas and their decisions and I have nothing to do with either. I am just living my life with my kids and my husband. And my husband's trying to provide a life for us right now in Israel where we can ha be happy and be safe to live here. Israel is the safe place in the world for Jews to live. And Jewish people believe that this is a safer place to be than out in the world. And we're getting bombed and their technology is getting better and I just know that since they hit something last night and they destroyed a home with kids in it, I just know that the, the, the rockets, it's going to escalate. I know. I know that's coming. We're going to have to live here for a couple more months at least. 
while all of this is going on. They just hit us two months ago with two rockets in Beersheba in a community that they're building right now. It was under construction, so it didn't hit anybody, luckily. They can just point the rocket and it goes. They don't know where it's going to land, and neither do we until it lands. But it's, it's pretty terrifying, honestly. But if you're Israeli and you were born here and you've lived this life since you were a little kid, you know and you just life just goes on and you don't you don't stress about it and my kids are outside playing right now and it's generally a safe place to live except for that except for terror my mother-in-law called me this morning to ask how we were and you know I told her all about it and she said yeah that's quite an experience I said yeah but it happened two months ago too she's like oh I didn't know said, yeah, in August it happened. There were two in August. You know, this is October and they're, they're getting better. They're getting more powerful. They're getting to be longer range and heavier. They cause more destruction. It's not just a hole, you know. It's, it's a blast. It's, it, it's big. And her daughter lives very close to Gaza Strip. We've been there before for Passover last year. Beautiful place. To live beautiful but surrounded by terror their kids aren't going to school today they shut the school down my kids are making some noise out back so I'm gonna go see what they're doing um, but they are building a bomb shelter right next door we wouldn't have time to run down to the synagogue that's down the street wake the kids up run down to the synagogue as soon as the air raid siren was was over the bomb hit and it hit hard and it was like there was a secondary concussion hit, you know what I mean? It was like boom, boom. Like one was hitting and one was destroying. And we heard it and we felt it and it did shake the house. And I, I have no idea where it was, but it's probably some area that we've been to because we live in Beersheba. We go all over Beersheba. We just have to make life as normal as possible until we move to America. But Again, this is just one part of Israel, and my husband works in a job that is very dangerous. And it, on one side, it, it is worth it because he's Jewish, and Israel is his home country, and he wants to protect it. But on the other side is we are selfish because we do have a family, and he is a father and a husband, and he, he does have to take care of all of us, you know? So, yeah, which one is more important? In the end, it's going to be our family. And that's why we have thought long and hard about leaving Israel. We have to leave Grandma and Grandpa here and the, all the cousins and family, you know, that we have been a part of. So we get asked that all the time. Oh, you're going to leave your family there in Israel. Yeah, because we're thinking ahead. We don't want to be a rat in a snake cage anymore. I don't think I've gotten good sleep in Israel since I've moved here. It's kind of because, like, I don't know, you're in awe. Like, if I were to go to the mall today, no one would be talking about this. You know, they would, life goes on, that's it. C'est la vie. <laughs> life goes on, and the Jewish people go on, and that's it. They, they deal with this all the time. I don't deal with this all the time, and I don't deal with it very well. I have anxiety about it. I have anxiety of living here. Um, every time something like this happens, it shakes me to the core. And it makes me very anxious to leave. The only thing that I really have to worry about in Florida are alligators, bears, snakes, and hurricanes. And I grew up with that, and I know how to deal with that. <laughs> um, I'm not too familiar with terrorists. This white building is our shed, and that is their bomb shelter they are building right now. They have been building it for the past week. Hi. Hi. Truck. You found junk? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs>
Regina, she was playing with Daddy's weights and got her tail hurt. Oh no. I just went there quickly. It's their building right there. Yep. That's what I was talking about one day. It's nice, huh? Yep. Yeah. Come and check out my hiding places to hide the ball and tricks on my bike later. What do you think about what happened last night? I think about nothing. I just fell asleep before the rocket crashed. Yeah. Well, crashing. Did, did it, it crash? crash in the backyard? No, it didn't. No. It crashed did it into crash? somebody else's house. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Look, I don't see anybody's house that's cracked. I don't see any bus. I don't see a house that's cracked. Yeah, it's somewhere else. We'll probably visit it sometime. Is it Grandma's? No. No, Grandma's sure. is okay. No one we know. This one didn't dig. Yeah, just this. people on the street. Just random people on the street. Be Nina! Be Nina! Like this. And they dig. It's not ready, Abigail. Open. It's not ready. Open. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. This morning we're going to go take a walk. That is the danger of riding a bike. Or a finger change. It's so nice. Girl, you look good. Want your back, baby?